Alrighty everyone, our time with the ZH2 is unfortunately coming to a close. We have absolutely enjoyed having this ridiculous, hyper-naked, supercharged motorcycle in the shop. And you guys have probably seen my videos and you don't need any more convincing that I adore this motorcycle. But that doesn't mean it's a perfect bike. And so today, we're gonna take a closer look at the ZH2 in this comprehensive review. Now the reason I can't keep this ZH2 for myself, as many of you guys know, it's one of our giveaway motorcycles. Yes, some crazy squid out there is gonna get himself or herself a 200 horsepower supercharged motorcycle for free. You guys know that by going to yamanoob.co, you can get entered to win, but we've got a brand new way you can get entered to win. You can go to our brand new store, YN Moto, get yourself pieces of gear, helmets, boots, tools, parts, tires, we've got all kinds of stuff over there, and every dollar you spend is an entry to win, so make sure you check that out in the link below, and get your self to win this ridiculous motorcycle. Now let's take a closer look at the ZH2's engine and find out what makes it so special. So now this is the real reason we're all here, right? I mean, the bike itself is pretty cool, but this thing, this engine is the main star of the show. An inline four displacing 998 cc's, putting down 197 horsepower and 101 foot pounds of torque. That is a ton and it is helped along by this red factory supercharger you see sitting next to me. This thing is a beast. And it is the one motorcycle in the shop where every single time Yam and I go out for a dual vlog and we take this thing along, he's constantly giggling in his helmet like a freaking schoolgirl. Check this out. <laughs> See what I mean? I mean, it's just a fun motorcycle to ride around. But the crazy thing is, despite this thing's power, I mean, sure, going from 40 to 140 is both effortless and near instant. It's a crazy rideable motorcycle. If you want to, you can ride this bike without being an absolute squid. Around town, this thing is about as docile as your average Z650, but instead of riding around on a lawnmower, glorified lawnmower putting down like 65 horsepower, you're riding around on a bike that will rip your arms off if you want it to. Now you might think that that means this motorcycle has a weird power curve or that it's got a weird muted throttle like the Triumph 660, but no, Kawasaki actually did a really good job gearing this motorcycle. It's as easy to ride at speed as it is around town and that's not something you can say about a lot of big power bikes out there. Now, one thing that's not so great about the ZH2 is unfortunately its handling. Now, that's not due to the fact of the components that this has. This has top of the shelf leader bike stuff. You got fully adjustable Showa's up at the front. You've got the shock back here with adjustability as well, linkage suspension at the rear. This thing should, in theory, handle pretty well. However, given the fact that it's pretty heavy, it's on this trellis frame, and it's just not really designed to be a track day carving kind of bike, it does fall a little bit short of expectations if you're used to leader bike performance. In fact, I took this thing out to the track and had a lot of fun with it, but I ended up walking away at the end of the day feeling that it was a little overpowered for what it was and it just left a little bit to be desired when you're out riding it around on track. However, as a fun street motorcycle, you can carve up corners, have a ton of fun, and then literally just power out of any corner you want in any gear and lift the front tire. It's a lot of fun to ride. This bike is best reserved for beating boosts on the drag strip and doing highway pulls with your buddies and just having a giggle when you're on the bike. But let me get an ergonomics check on this motorcycle and show you what I mean about how comfortable it is and how limiting it is on track. All right guys, taking a closer look at the ergonomics on the ZH2, this thing's set up like your normal everyday naked bike, except it has this ridiculous engine in it. As I swing a leg over this machine, as you guys know, I'm about 5'11", 170 pounds, it fits me basically perfectly. These pegs are really nice and low, very comfortable, handlebars nice and tall, and this is a position that you can basically ride the entire day long. Now, however, being that these pegs are lower, that's the limiting factor when you're on track. You can actually see down here below, I already scraped these peg feelers at the track when I wasn't really running a kind of personal best pace on this thing either. So if you did want to take this thing out to the track and run some laps for whatever reason, you will definitely need to invest in some rear sets to bring up those pegs to make sure you have the clearance when you're getting those cool lean angles. Now let's take a look at what Spite and Whitney look like on this machine. Hey guys, Whitney here, and seeing as how the seat height of this ZH2 is 32.7 inches, I'm about 5'8", inseam's about 28 inches, 
That's pretty tall for a motorcycle, and I don't really notice it. Um, I can flat foot it without a problem, and the ergonomics are honestly one of the reasons why I love this bike so much. It's super comfortable for long day riding, and it's also really fun in the twisties. Alrighty guys, Spite here. I'm gonna hop on the bike. I am six foot four inches tall, and this is a bike that feels super comfortable for them big Busa boys out there. It is a really great place to sit. Even with my feet up on the pegs, I don't feel like I'm bumping into the exhaust here at all. And the reach of the bars is stupid comfortable. I could sit on this bike all day and not feel it basically anywhere. It's a really great riding position. So if you guys saw my Why Technology on Motorcycle Sucks video, you know that I had championed the ZH2 for being a nice coalescence of technology that helps the bike be rideable, but also not super duper intrusive. One of the things that I love the most about this is that switching rider modes is super simple. Let me show you how it's done. Literally all you need to do, press and hold this button right here, and you'll go from super sport Kyle mode down to rain mode. It's sport, street, rain, and then rider mode, which is definable by the user. Very, very easy to do. You don't have to dive into any menus. It's literally right here at your thumb and more motorcycles need to set it up like this. Another thing that I really like about this tech package is the dashboard. The TFT is really easy to read in direct sunlight and in dark conditions. It's super, super bright. The contrasting colors are really nice and it shows you everything that you need to know and nothing that you don't. A lot of leader bikes out there could learn something from this simple dashboard. Don't need to see what your front brake and your back brake and how you, the gyroscopic forces are changing on your motorcycle because it doesn't matter and Kawasaki knows that. The next best thing on this bike is the just general tech package keeping this motorcycle upright. The quick shifter is the best I've felt on basically any motorcycle. The downshifts are so crisp. It's so great to feel it just bang down gears. And the wheelie control makes you feel like a freaking superstar. You can lift the front end up by about five inches and just hold it there. And instead of chopping the power and slamming the front end down, it sets it down nice and easy for you every time. It makes you really feel like a pro. It's one of the things that I love about this tech package. It doesn't feel intrusive. It doesn't feel like there's a line of film between you and the motorcycle keeping it rideable. Big props to Kawasaki on this tech package here. You might think a bike like this with its space age technology is gonna be difficult to modify and fix up, but really we had a pretty easy time installing this thing. So long as you read the directions and don't remove the air box like I did to try to do a sprint filter. Yeah, it's easy if you read the directions. So even though I love the ZH2, the hyper naked market has a lot to choose from. Let's take a look at its competitors. All right, everyone, get your spec sheets out. It's time to talk competitors to the ZH2. As we said, this is a very competitive marketplace, and there are some seriously cool bikes that the ZH2 competes head-to-head -head with. And Spite, what's your favorite out of a lot of them? Well, obviously, being the KTM simp around here nowadays, I got to go with the Super Duke. I feel mm, like good choice. in this marketplace, you need something that's a brawl, something that's a handful to ride when you're going up against the ZH2. And in my mind, nothing is better than the Super Duke. 1,303 cc's, 180 horsepower, and 103 foot-pounds of torque, and it's only a thousand bucks more. So it's a really great option against the H2. I mean, it's sure it's not supercharged. Yeah, you're not getting 200 horsepower, but it'll still wheelie all day long. And you get that V-twin sound. You don't get the flutter out of it, though. I think that's what makes the Z special. But we also have Ducati Street Fighter V4S. Now, that is one spicy meatball. Give us the specs on that one. So that motorcycle is putting down 208 horsepower out of its 1,100cc V4. And it's going to cost you $20,000. But if you drag it through the Biscotti parts book, you're going to be looking at about $25,000 for the full Zoot version. Yeah. Which is, like you said, a bit of a spicy meatball. Yeah, quite a bit more expensive than the ZH2. But there is a motorcycle that is <laughs> stratospherically expensive compared to the ZH2. And that is MV Augusta's Brutale 1000 Serie Oro, the fastest naked bike in the world. What is that, 212 horsepower out of 1,000 cc? 212 horsepower. <laughs> 1,000 cc's, and it tops out at 186 miles an hour with a limiter. Yeah. Proudly claimed on their website, the fastest naked bike ever. But it costs you a cool 46 
thousand dollars. You can get almost three ZH2s for that kind of money, which is just insane. So let's bring it back down to earth a little bit. You've got Triumph's brand new speed triple, the 1200 King Dick Energy triple as it were, but that one's a little bit more, it's not so much as beast so much as it is refined gentleman, right? Yeah, that is putting down 177 horsepower out of its 1180cc triple. And like you're saying, very refined, very usable. People have been saying that it's a dream to ride in their industry speak, which to my mind means that it's really easy. It's basically like a beefed up street triple. And that's not what I'm looking for out of a hyper naked, really. Mm -hmm. I want something that's gonna just blow my hair back. Yeah. I don't feel like Triumph's gonna deliver that. I still got my fingers crossed that one day they're gonna put fairings on that bad boy, give us a triple that makes 200 horsepower, make a Daytona 1200, but a boy can dream, can't he? <laughs> With all that being said, when it comes down to this hyper naked market, at this price point and these features, you just gotta pick the bike that you fell in love with. If you want that supercharger, wine and flutter, you're gonna have to go with the ZH2. If you wanna go full Biscotti, you go Ducati. If you wanna go ultra mega Biscotti, you go MV Agusta. <laughs> and so you just pick the bike that you fell in love with. With all that being said, let's wrap up this video and take a final look at the ZH2. Alrighty, Spy, with all this being said about the ZH2, who do you think should buy this bike? Who is this for? <laughs> In reality, probably nobody should buy this bike. I mean, yeah. it is so fast, so powerful, and so stupid. But that's why people love it. I mean, yeah. if you're a speed demon, you probably are going to have a ton of fun with this motorcycle. But also, if you just want something different, you want something with some pizzazz and panache and you have a responsible right hand, this is a really cool motorcycle. And despite the fact that it's probably way too much for me, I can see why somebody would really like this kind of riding experience on the daily. Yeah. This bike for me, honestly, surprised me as well. When we first got it, I was like, it's just some big, dumb, stupid bike. Let's see what it can do. I absolutely fell in love with this motorcycle. I adore the ZH2. I think it's so much fun to ride. It's so comfortable. It's a bike that makes very little compromise as a street bike, in my opinion. And then much like Spite said, you get on the gas and it's just party time every time you get on the gas and it makes the best sounds ever. It's a really, really cool motorcycle. And we've really enjoyed having it in the shop and so, Again, I think if you're a speed demon kind of dude, you want to chill on your motorcycle all day long, you hate the super sport riding position, it's a ZH2 all day, that's the bike you should get. With all that being said, thank you so much for checking out today's video, guys. Remember, we are giving this ZH2 away. We really hope that it goes to someone who either sells it if it's their first bike or a responsible rider because, <laughs> holy crap, this is an absolute weapon of a motorcycle. You best should, beginner bike ever. Best Definitely, beginner for bike. Sure. Even better than a Turbo Boosa. You should really check it out. But be sure to click the link down below to yamini.co, enter to win this motorcycle, and head over to the YN Moto Shop. Every dollar you spend is an entry to win over there. Get your tires, get your parts, get your gear, whatever we got on the store. Be sure to get entered to win that way. Thanks again to Brox for supplying us the awesome stupid fast parts on this machine and make sure you stay tuned because we got the brand new expert bike coming out in the next couple of weeks here and we're definitely going to pit the ZH2 up against that as well. Leave a comment down below of what you think the next expert bike giveaway is going to be and we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. You've made it to the end of a Yami Noob video. Did you like what you saw? Do you want to see more of it? Check it out right here just like magic waiting for you. Click this little square right here. More memes, more yammy, more of my face. Isn't that great?